Okay, as it seems, no rest for the wicked. Game 3 has started already. It is Shaddai, the next undead in line to... Uh, yeah, trying to beat Rudin. He's getting closer and closer to the all kill. Um, I'm just quickly updating Liquipedia. And then we are... Uh, and read more, of course. And then we're good to go. Oh, I can jump into the game already. So you see what's going on. Ah, there is a ticker guy. Nice. Uh, the map is Last Refuge, obviously. Oh, th uh, thank you, Abstract, for tickering at read more. So I just have to do Team Liquid, as it seems. Ah, someone's updating Team Liquid as well. Nice. Community, thumbs up. Thumbs up, community. I don't have to tickle this anymore. So uh, let's go. Shaddai was uh, in the absence of Czechy the most promising and best undead player that we had in Europe, but uh, he disappeared for quite some time. And, uh, yeah, I think he's not on the level that he was, like, a player's forces are seven months ago, maybe, or half a year ago. But, together with Enter, he has the a best chances, I guess, siege. to uh, kill Rudin here. But Rudin, so far, pretty, pretty strong performances. And, uh... Chances are not that high, I guess. <coughs> but we'll see. Last Refuge it is. I think it's a good map for... Uh, a player's forces are under attack. The triple hero combo in general. But also that, that uh, goes for the Demon Hunter Naga combo. Gloves of Haste. The first item for the Death Knight, of course, is creeping is slower thanks to the Engine of War. But the Ghoul... Did a good job scouting and attacking a bit. And therefore he dies. Almost level 2 on the demon. Hunter. Death Knight. Yeah, what can he do now? Losing the first ghoul. He has coil though. No unholy aura. So he's able to be burned. And of the course, that's what you siege. never want. Losing HP and losing mana early is very, very hard to come up from. That's a good amount of ghouls. He brings the lumber back. And there we go. Tier 2 tech players by both players. Very attack. early Huntress Hall by Rudin. Is he going for Huntress? Seems to be the only reason, right? Do so. Nice little shadow melts here. Saving this one from the creep. Saving this one from the death knight. And Chadai is losing so much hit points already. A player's forces are under attack. At least he can get some experience with this uh, creeping simultaneously, but ooh, almost losing a ghoul here against the forest trolls. It's really close. He didn't kill the healer first, and now he needs the death knight advantage. Uh, the replenishment potion would be the best, I guess. Ah, oh, of illusion. Not that great. He can fake a good amount of fiends, maybe. Player's forces are under or just use it. But Rudin, man, so calm, so confident, so far ahead. Rock Golem down and Sobi Mask. Nice little staff here, but he's too late as it seems. Maybe he can get the Archer, but look at the damage the Death Knight takes here. Oh my god, that was never supposed to happen. Two mercenaries and the Engine of War and the Demon Hunter. What did you want to accomplish there? Yeah, and Haveline is pointing it out a without a dust even. Under attack. 
And you can't call the big creep, so why are you going in like that? It's kind of hard to say. So, tier 2 by Rudin has been reached. We don't see Huntress, which makes, of course, a lot of sense. It's good against a big ghoul push, but once there's a fiend, um, the Huntress fall off a cliff. A player's forces are under attack. Too late for the steal, but uh, yeah, Shadai in the middle needs to take the potion. Now Naga second for both players. Usually if we see a situation like that, one Naga dies, and Rudin seems to be in the way superior situation. The ghouls are doing great damage though. Maybe both Nagas are falling here. Yeah, 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 but the Death Knight is low as well. Rudin saves his uh, Naga for now, but oh, the potion has been swapped, and now the Frost Arrow comes into play. Naga goes down, he gets the Shadow Priest in return, and loses, uh, but loses a ghoul on the other side. So once again a good fight for... Another good fight for Rudin here, the third in a row. A player's forces are under and of course the levels on this Naga now, super duper far away. Zero experience on the Naga of Shadai, no level 3 Death Knight, we have a level 3.5 Demon Hunter, we have an almost level 2 a Naga with a Sobi Mask. The big consumable of Shadai's shop went to Rudin as well. And yeah, actually I'm pretty disappointed by Shadai. All those little, uh, little things went in favor of Rudin. And you can see it in... Supply, you can see it in XP, you can see it in map control. Tier 3 tech has started for both players. Should I even a little ahead here? A player's forces are under attack. Slaughterhouse and sacrificial pit, so the usual combo, I guess. <laughs> Invis potion again. He's really, really active with his Death Knight and a lot of skeletons that he used for this creep. Um, he's really active with his Death Knight, but he has to be careful now, man. Trying to steal the Maggie, and that can work, but if he goes uphill, he will be surrounded, like, immediately. He's going in, he's trying to steal. Oh, reveal! Rudin with the Star Senses! Fork Lightning, Invo Potion being triggered. Can he be blocked? Yes! If he... Surrounded. He is surrounded. Forcing the invul potion and the town portal, and he didn't even get the item and anything. Holy shit! What an investment into this res. Invis potion, invul potion, and the town portal. In the meantime, Rudin with a big invul and the book of the dead. It's looking horrible. It's looking absolutely horrible. Look at this map control. Shaddai has 31 food, he can't even leave his base properly. Class plus 12 on the demon. Holy shit, or on the Naga. Both are great. Not even the orb in the inventory, but the damage output is already insane. He's going for the lab. That's the only thing he can do. Finally getting level 3. Has to use a coil from his creep. That's how weak he is at the moment. And Rune is getting ready to attack. Shadai knows about this. Destroyer upgrade is done. Lich is coming. But no worm yet, no... Okay, there is a bone yet, but no worm yet. And not a single fiend! That's right, not a single fiend. Of 
course the expansion. He is miles and miles and miles and miles ahead. Hero focus has to be the solution. Otherwise he cannot win this. Without piercing damage, no way he can win this. <coughs> Fort Lightning <coughs> against the ghouls working pretty well. But yeah, the Demon Hunter now, plus 23 boots of 12 palas. Look at him go. He has the big invul, he can do whatever he wants. The heroes are just melting against this demon. Book of the Dead being summoned as a last defense here. Demon Hunter's popping the invul. But the Night Elf units, they just shred through the Book of the Dead. All the undead heroes are becoming low. Is there a staff? No, okay, there's no staff and fork lightning! Super close! He has to be careful with his demon. Shaddai is doing a good job saving his heroes, but that's about it. Oh, as I say it, the Lich dies. <laughs> Level 5 and 4. Demolition! Demolition. Over. Wow. No chance in hell for Shaddai here. Not a single moment where he had a chance. Impressive. Rudin is warmed up. Rudin is ready to pawn and Rudin is coming closer and closer to the 50 extra bucks. We'll take another quick break and then we'll be back with uh, Rudin versus uh, the German versus Ente. Let's see how he is doing. <laughs> 